Political actors in Edo State have been campaigning for the off-season governorship election coming up in a little over two weeks, precisely on September 21st. They've been campaigning for many months, fatigue has set in, some are also becoming very desperate. The outgoing governor of Edo State, Godwin Obaseki, led the campaign of the PDP to Akoko Edo. While speaking in the campaign ground, he said that he cannot hand over a do state to unintelligent people. He know how to bring investors. But did they catch up? He said one come. He won't bring these people. He don't charge. He said one bring investors. The remaining part of Obaseki's speech is not covered in this video. Maybe it's because of the backlash they received after he made the statement. That's why this video cannot be found online. Anyway, Daily Trust newspapers reported about it. They quoted Obaseki word for word. After talking about his achievements in office and how Ihodalo, the PDP candidate, is best suited to continue from where he stopped, he said, quote, these gains and successes would be derailed if left in the hands of an unintelligent, inexperienced or incompetent person whose only aim in power is to share the common patrimony of the people among the political class. We have reformed the education sector through the Edo Best program and ensured your daughter headed the state's Edo State Universal Basic Education Board. We can't hand over a do best to unintelligent people." Unquote. Whether Baseki was campaigning or whether he means it, but using a heavy sentence like, I can't hand over to this person, is ridiculous. It's not by his choice. He doesn't have an option. He is bound by the decision of a do people. He is bound by the results of the election. Whether he likes it or not, he must leave office on the appointed day and the elected person must take over from him. He doesn't need to be physically there to hand over to him. Like it happens in many states in Nigeria, once they are handing over to a different party, they don't sit around to do all the protocols, snap photos and laugh at each other. They just leave everything behind and say civil servants will handle the handover. Most Nigerian politicians always show poor sportsmanship. When they see that they can't convince the people the normal way they are supposed to convince them in campaigns under a democracy, they resort to threats. Another thing he said that is unbecoming of a governor is calling other candidates unintelligent. Leaders should be leading by example. If someone like Obaseki is calling other candidates, unintelligent when he himself is not even in the contest. He's just supporting Igodalo as a fellow party man. If Obaseki is insulting others, what will party faithfuls be doing? That means they will be throwing punches and kicking others. Yes, if they are ogre at the top, a governor is insulting others. He's giving them the leeway to hide. Do anything to win the election. Do what you have to do. Even if it's thuggery, snatching of ballot boxes, doing anything, do it and make sure you return our candidate. This is how they heat up the polity. How did he measure the intelligence of other candidates to arrive at the fact that they are unintelligent? No one is indispensable. There is no way to prove that Iwodalo is more intelligent than others. It's left for Edo people to decide. And Edo people are smart. They don't need anyone to show them direction, not to talk of Obaseki telling them how to vote. They can make the decision by themselves. In fact, Obaseki shouldn't be showing any sign that he is desperate to have Igodalo succeed him. His works should do the speaking for him. Edo people can see his works, all that he has done. They will now decide and say, ah, it is better to allow PDP succeed PDP so that they can carry on with the good works. Also, if they look back the last eight years and say, ah, this man underperformed, we should not reward failure, then they can look elsewhere and elect someone else. Yes, politicians will actually change and start delivering good governance when Nigerians stop rewarding failures. They actually become complacent when you continue voting for them, despite the fact that you can see that they underdelivered. If you want good governance, you need to replace them very often. You need to change parties. You need to listen to the candidates, ask them questions, 
watch out for candidates that focus on the issues, not in insults, because these are more important to you. They are thinking about solving your problems, and when your problems are solved, you'll be better for it. And when you vote people based on competence, not party, the political arena will become more competitive because parties will be forced to produce their best as candidates. Not anyone, any money bag that will just come and buy everything, buy all the delegates and they will want to market that person to become the governor or to lead in any position he's contesting. So if you focus on the candidate himself, his character, it is much more important than the party he comes from, whether it's the governor's party or the main opposition, whatever, just focus on the person. You will get more results when you do that. Not that continuity is not good, especially when it benefits the people, but look around you, look around the industry, do you think there is anything that is worth continuing despite the fact that the person that wants to continue it was part of the administration the past 8 years? Well, it is left for Edo people to decide. We'll be here on election day, covering the election as usual. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. When you say, people don't vote for you. You say, show me you're working. Particularly the one when they don't do government. They don't do government for 25 years. Yes, sir. Labour Party, only one year we don't do for Abia. Only one year. Only one governor we get. People now ask people, are people on the other side? Yes. To see how Labour they function. Abia get like yes. paradise. Yes. Abia get lights. Yes. That's what they tell you now. So, that's what say, my people, if you are okay with five months deputy governor. We are not okay. We are not okay. You know what they call that one? Insult upon injury. As they don't do us rich, go carry deputy governor Totorius. Like saying that that one will be fine. No. Labor Party will come and give you good school. Yes. Labor Party will come. Labor Party go do make sure see our farmers feed go farm. Yes. Eh? Yes. Papa, well done. Welcome, sir. Yes. Labor Party go make sure see our farmers feed go farm. Yes. So that security go live for farm. So that Gary no go be 90,000 in the bank. Yes. So that we go see Gary chop. Yes. Labor Party go do our school so that children feed go school. Yes. Yes. Labor Party go put one healthcare center in each of the 192 wards for Edo State. In how many wards? Yes. Yes. How many wards they here? No, he said, he said, no question. Yes. Yes. We'll get yes. the only yes. unit. How many words? One word. One word. Yes. We'll get to our primary health care center. Yes. 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 You can understand what's at the top. Land person. Not the slogan. Deputy Governor. To carry Deputy Governor Dashos five months to end of tenure. Now insult upon injury. Yes. yes. The big slab. They, they, tell, they, they tell the world. Eh? You know, as a chicken, when you want to catch chicken, just throw ground, uh, come for floor. Yeah. What did they do? Tell us we big pass that one. Yes, we big pass that one. Yes. Yes.